the women are so mad. But I only have one question. Where did he lie? Y'all, when I came across this video here, <laughs> I said to myself, hmm, but where was the lie? You know, like he, he gave nothing but pure facts. And even still, a bunch of the women were upset. They were extremely hostile and they were, you know, trying to condemn him and insult him and everything of that sort. And first things first, the reason why a lot of those men did that was because of the fact that, like I said, it was true, okay? And on top of that, a lot of the things that he was saying in his 11 reasons why a lot of women today are single may have applied to a lot of the women that are, again, attacking him for stating the obvious truth. But nonetheless, I think that this list that this guy does give to a lot of the women as far as why they may be single today, I feel like it is accurate and it could be very beneficial and helpful, all right? But let's go ahead and get into it. Y'all like the video. Y'all share the video and subscribe. Y'all also let me know when we do go through this list, which ones do you agree with? Which ones do you disagree with? I already let y'all know that I agree with pretty much everything on his list. But hey, I'm always open for, you know, differences of opinions, okay? But let's go ahead and get into it, you all. And again, get the likes up. So this was the video here that I came across. And I thought it was very interesting, okay? Very interesting of a list. Let's just go ahead and play it, okay? The reason why most of you women are single is because you curved a good man that was willing to take you seriously for a guy that treated you like a The second reason why most of you women are single, because you curved a good man that was willing to marry you for a guy that made you a single mother. The third reason why most of you women are single is because you're selfish. You only think about yourself. You don't think about compromise. You don't think about teamwork makes the dream work. The fourth reason why most of you women are single, because you're mentally immature. You got the blind out here leading the blind. The fifth reason why most of you women are single, because you know 5,000 ways to catch a man cheating, but don't know five ways to keep a man happy. The sixth reason why most of you women are single, because y'all women are lazy, y'all don't want to work, and y'all want a man to take care of y'all. It's not gonna the happen. seventh reason why most of you women are single is because you don't realize that your beauty and your fitness will get you way further than your degrees and your bank account. The eighth reason why most of you women are single because you have inflated egos and unrealistic expectations. The ninth reason why most of you women are single because you feel that it's okay for you to have a preference, but when a man has a preference, he gets demonized. The 10th reason why most of you women are single because you have masculine energy and you don't know how to submit and you try to be the man that you're looking the for. The 11th reason why most of you women are still single because you'll leave a good man to look for some better just to end up with some worse. Then you'll try to spin the block and think we're supposed to welcome you back with open arms. It's not going to happen. Like, share, follow, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Free game. Now, I wanted you all to just hear everything clearly through before we <laughs> broke it down bit by bit. But again, y'all, where was the lie? And I get it. A lot of women, they don't like to hear the truth. And they would more than likely not want to hear the truth from a guy like him. Let's be honest, you all. You know, this brother here, you know, he's not the most handsome guy in the world. He can stand to lose a few pounds and all of that. But again, ladies, the reason why a lot of us are falling short is because instead of taking heed to the message, we would rather attack the messenger. We would rather, you know, insult people instead of saying, you know what? He's right or she's right, you know? And we could get so much further ahead if, we would put our pride to the side, put our ego to the side, and just say, you know what? Is this information beneficial? 
is this information accurate and can i apply this to make my life better and easier and if you all could learn to do that i promise you you would be a lot further ahead in life and maybe just maybe you could have your prince charming just saying just saying just saying but let's go ahead and rewind it back and break it down bit by bit okay and again y'all like the video share the video and subscribe okay okay the reason why most of you women are single is because you curved a good man that was willing to take you seriously for a guy that treated you like a the second reason well that is pretty accurate a lot of ladies out there unfortunately y'all prioritize the guys who don't prioritize you he treats you like just something to do and you treat him like the prize whoopsie i know y'all ladies hate to hear that type of truth but it is the truth nonetheless y'all swear up and down that a man is supposed to cater to you a man is supposed to put you on a pedestal a man is supposed to treat you like a prize but the reality of the matter is when good quality men actually do pour into you in those ways y'all take him for granted y'all actually chase up after the guys who do dismiss you who do not love you who do not commit to you that is who you are again pedestalize that is who you are worship that is who you are bow down to and you essentially end up passing up great quality men that could have been great husbands great fathers to your children and the whole nine yards all because you wanted to change a bad boy into a good man instead of just going ahead and getting with the good man that was already a good man so that's factual and actual information you know and i know y'all hate to hear that but it's the truth ladies y'all choose piss poor quality men to build with to be with to be in love with to try to act right for y'all do this to yourselves and then when people from the outside looking in calls it out now they're the villains no let's stop okay so y'all put a two in the chat if y'all agree with number one okay and then put a three in the chat if you disagree with with number one okay and number one is pretty much they go after you know the bad boy instead of the good guy all right they uh treat the good man like he's an option and they treat the bad boy like he's a priority i'm gonna go ahead and drop my two in the chat because i agree okay but let's continue reason why most of you women are single because you curved a good man that was willing to marry you for a guy that made you a single mother the third oh now that right there that that's stung because we already know that a good chunk of women can relate to that a good chunk of women that statement applies to and that is something that a lot of women to this day have to come to terms with like yes i chose a guy that did not see me worthy enough that did not find me to be valuable enough to marry he just wanted to pipe me down and wipe me down but not wife me up but the guy once again it's the same thing the guy that maybe did want to go to the next level i took him as a joke you know i felt like he was lame he was boring whatever the case may be like for example you all and again y'all get the likes up how many times have we heard and seen a bunch of these baby mama chicks sorry sis but that's what it's hidden for okay how many times have we seen these baby mama chicks swear up and down that oh i've turned down this proposal and oh he wanted to marry me but i didn't want to marry him and yeah i could have married this guy and he had a lot going on for himself but you know it, there was bigger fish in the sea that is what y'all do we've heard it we've seen it time after time after time you know and so when it comes to the guys who do want to take it to the next level who do want to be more committed and serious with y'all 
y'all cast them away and y'all go and chase up behind the futures of the world. See, y'all do life backwards. Y'all want to go after the guys that are trash, you know, that are womanizers, that are playboys, pimps. Y'all want to go after those guys. And you can outright see that he does not value marriage. He does not value relationships. He does not value you. And here you are yet and still like, oh no, he'll change one day, someday. Oh no, you know, he'll change his mind. And he does not. He does not. And now you're looking stupid because you thought a baby would make him change. You thought that starting a family would make him want to make it official and it doesn't. And so now here you are in your later years trying to go after the guys that are more mature, that are well to do, that do have their head in the right places and not their head. Okay. Okay. I mean, well, <laughs> that too, but nonetheless, y'all work backwards in those ways. Y'all want to go after the good guys later on. And by that time, those good guys are already married. They're already off the market or they just don't desire you anymore. But nonetheless, number two was accurate as well. So y'all let me know again. Put a two in the chat if y'all agree with number two. Put a three in the chat if you disagree with number two. But yes, a lot of these ones out there, unfortunately, will pass over the guys who do want to get married, who do want to settle down, and they'll go after the guy who does not desire any of those things. But let's continue. A reason why most of you women are single is because you're selfish. You only think about yourself. You don't think about compromise. You don't think about teamwork makes the dream work. The Bars. <laughs> I mean... For well, crying out loud, y'all, we have whole femininity coaches talking about you are the prize, okay? They teach y'all that the men are to bow down to y'all, worship y'all, cater to y'all, chase up behind y'all. Like, yes, the whole basis of being a divine feminine woman, according to a lot of y'all, is to prioritize yourself, you know, put yourself at the focal point and make sure that a man is doing the same thing. And if he's not, doing that for you then he's not a good man right he's not a real man so yes a lot of y'all are selfish in that way that's not a lie let me know if y'all agree with that or disagree with that but i as a woman can even vouch for that being truthful you know i see women all around me all day long oh no i could never be you danica because i refuse to do x y and z one two and three and it's like, what? You refuse to pour into your man? You refuse to be of assistance to your man? You refuse to be a support system to your man? Like, what? Like, it does not compute to me. Like, I'm all about balance. I'm all about reciprocity. I'm all about appreciation. Like, that's what I am about as a happily married woman. And so many other happily married women can vouch for me. That is what is keeping our marriages close and tight knit and healthy and thriving is because we know how to be selfless. We know how to also pour back into that man to replenish him. Why? Because he replenishes us. He is pouring into us. He's making sure that we're good. So why can't we do the same thing for him? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that is a reason why a lot of y'all are single. As a matter of fact, the moment that a guy even comes remotely close to expressing the fact that he feels like he deserves something out of a woman in a relationship or whatever the case may be, it's like, oh no, forget you. I don't want you. I'd rather be alone than to deal with a man like you. And it's all because he's dealing in balance. It's all because he's asking for reciprocity and generosity. You know, so again, that is a very valid reason as to why a lot of y'all are single. <laughs> Let's be clear. Let's be honest. Y'all are selfish AF. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. 
and I hate to be dishonest, but I'm gonna go there. And y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. A lot of y'all are so selfish that you would prioritize yourself over your your own children. Is that too real? Oh, okay. Let's peep the game, y'all. I've seen countless mothers, women out here. They are just dressed up to perfection, nails done, hair done, nice clothes, nice shoes. They're always outside. They're always partying, always clubbing, living their best lives, always on vacation, always flewed out, right? But their children broke down. Hair not done, no school supplies, no school clothes. And half of y'all have y'all's children be left with, your, with the grandparents. Let's go really deep with this. <laughs> Since y'all want to complain and point the blame and all of this, uh, let's go into it. Let's get into it. Let's get nitty and gritty for a second so we can, again, shake it up and wake it up and get y'all to correct a lot of these behaviors. A lot of y'all are also so selfish that y'all would sell your kids' food stamps. A lot of y'all would take y'all's children's child support and spend it on yourself. Like, let's just be clear. Let's be honest. See, y'all are out here attacking this man, but he said nothing wrong. A lot of y'all are operating within the confines of being a very self-centered, very manipulative, destructive, counterproductive individual. And that is why you're single. And that is why nobody wants to be with you. You are a liability. But let's continue. Fourth reason why most of you women are single, because you're mentally immature. You got the blind out here leading the blind. The fifth reason why most of you women are single, because you know 5,000 ways to catch a man cheating, but don't know five ways to keep a man happy. The sick now that cracked me up. Now, yes, you do have a lot of the blind leading the blind. That's a, a huge reason why a lot of y'all are single. You know, when it comes to women like me, it's like, oh, she just a pick me. Oh, she just pandering to the men. Oh, she just not identifying all of that. And yeah, cool. Y'all can say that, but a lot of the women, such as myself, we are happily married, happily and greatly taken care of, living our best lives, thriving. Okay. And a lot of y'all would rather follow up behind females that do tell y'all lies, feed y'all fluff and fairy tales. And that is essentially the blind leading the blind. She never had a healthy, balanced relationship. So how in the hell is she going to tell you how to maintain one, let alone get one? But the next thing that he said, though, took me out. And the reason why it took me out was because a lot of y'all do have the most to say about what other people are doing wrong and what other people need to do and why men don't do this and why men don't do that and the whole time it's like how is it that you have all of this knowledge wisdom and understanding but you have zero capacity to be able to really understand and internalize what it is that you need to do as a woman to maintain and sustain a thriving relationship why is it that you all have all of this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, but you're not able to grasp the idea of being the type of woman that could pour into a man properly and also be able to choose the proper man. You know, everything that it takes to make you satisfied, to make you happy, to make you fulfilled. But why is it that y'all don't have that same energy when it comes to the men in your lives, the people in your lives. And y'all really think that, you know, that there's no merit to what he's saying? Y'all really want to attack this man for spitting facts and bars? Come on, y'all, this is truth. That is mighty funny how y'all know everything about everybody and everything else except for 
how to get a man that is again balanced healthy wise intelligent a great provider a great leader y'all don't know how to choose and find him though and not only do y'all not know how to choose and find him but you don't know how to keep him girl please save it and so that is also a reason why the previous thing that he said was so truthful the blind leading the blind y'all know so much and nothing at all and passing around this information like it's the gospel truth and all of y'all just stuck and stagnant stuck stagnant and stuck on stupid but I'm sorry, y'all. Let's continue because y'all not get the going off. Let's continue. Like the video, share the video, and subscribe. I have not heard one lie yet. Y'all let me know, have you? Next reason why most of you women are single because y'all women are lazy, y'all don't want to work, and y'all want a man to take care of y'all. It's not going to happen. Seven Facts. And with that one, you all, I really hate how we try to finesse it into oh these men are just not men anymore no 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 a lot of these women try to use the whole rest in your femininity as a cop out to be lazy right like of course a man's going to provide for you of, co of course a man's going to take great care of you and all of that like yeah he's not going to Put a, a heavy load on you for you to carry for yourself and all of that no a man's going to handle that you know but that does not grant you the right to just trauma dump to just problem dump you know on these men and then say oh, okay well he can handle it he can figure it out he can do it by himself no what's the point in being in a relationship with somebody if you know they're not going to help you out if they're not going to balance you out we're here to come together as a unit as a team and build thrive grow lean on each other and so that that's that's truthful you all a lot of y'all are lazy af and y'all will find any loophole in order to blame that man and say oh well if a woman can't be lazy and just mooch off of you then you must not be a real man and you must be a broke dusty no not so fast a lot of y'all are broke dusties and you are trying to use reverse psychology and manipulation tactics in order to finesse your way out of some help let's be clear y'all are trying to escape accountability and responsibility for upholding your end of the bargain in a relationship and so when he's saying that it's actual factual and when he said that it's like oh nah see how dare he has he seen himself it's like no let's stop all of that really internalize what he is actually saying instead of trying to attack the messenger a lot of y'all are freaking lazy Y'all do, do just want somebody to come into your life and take care of everything while you just be a lazy bum. Nobody wants dead weight. And a lot of y'all are just that. That's not a relationship. And so, yes, while the man will take on the bulk of the responsibility, that does not grant you permission to be a lazy, leeching bum. Your job as a woman is to be complimentary to that man, to help him out, to be a great assistant to that man, not just coast by and live off of him. So that's actual factual and enough is enough. And a lot of brothers that are great providers, great leaders, great protectors can vouch for that. It's like, yeah, I got you. I got you, baby, but I will not allow a chick to just leech and eat off of me what are you doing to reciprocate and appreciate what are you doing to refill my cup but let's continue y'all like the video share the video and subscribe y'all let me know am i off base because i'm telling y'all right now everything that he has said thus far fact and i can vouch for it. i can back it up as a happily married woman myself i practice everything that he says that y'all don't let's continue 
reason why most of you women are single is because you don't realize that your beauty and your fitness will get you way further than your degrees and your bank account. The eighth reason. Now. <laughs> now. That's not off base either. Like, yeah. Um, that's just true. Okay. A lot of y'all try way too hard to be strong, independent boss chicks. And sorry to tell y'all, that's exactly what you're going to be. Because no man in his right mind is going to want to deal with a woman that is so educated and, you know, so employed and everything, but you're not appealing. You know what I mean? A lot of y'all are trying to qualify yourselves based upon how men qualify themselves. Oh, I'm, you know very accredited and i am very smart and i can lead and you know i can pay for this and i can buy this and, no you know that's not your role and so when he's saying that your beauty and your fitness can really get you a long way especially in regards to finding you know a great man to take care of you and all that like that's actual factual you know um, men are going to be looking for women that, you know, are easy on the eye. You know, not only are you a woman that is going to be able to be a great assistant, but, you know, you ain't too bad to, to look at and, and poke too. You know what I mean? So let's just not sleep too much on the power of being fit feminine and friendly okay it can get you a lot further ahead than just being a strong independent boss nasty sloppy out of shape chick i guess i, I don't know but let's continue <laughs> why most of you women are single because you have inflated egos and unrealistic expectations the ninth reason why most of you women are single because you feel that it's okay for you to have a preference but when a man has a preference he gets demonized oh and see that kind of ties hand in hand and y'all like the video that ties hand in hand he's saying look a lot of y'all first things first y'all are prioritizing the wrong things you're out here being sloppy out of shape bossy independent everything of that sort and then on top of that you have this inflated ego so you're not even all of that sis men are not really checking for you in the ways that you think they are if at all for that matter you know what i'm saying so not only are y'all coming through very light in those areas but on top of that when a man vocalizes to you that, hey, I don't prefer a woman that way. I like a woman that maybe spends more time on her physical look, or I like a woman that spends more time in the department of being a nurturer, being a loving, caring woman, being, you know, a woman that is more submissive and all of that, you know, and, and you look good and stuff like that. When a when a man vocalizes that, it's like, oh no, something is wrong with you. You're shallow. You hate women and all of that. But when it comes to women, we can have all of the opinions in the world. We can say, oh, I don't want no man that looks like this. I don't want no man that that is this height or this weight or you know that is this complexion or that does not make this amount of money. But let a man say, look. I don't want a, a, a fat, sloppy, nasty, strong, independent boss chick. I want a chick that's in shape. I want a chick that's more humble. You know, I want a chick that is submissive. I want a chick that is going to be complimentary to my life. It's like, oh my God, how dare you? You're misogynistic. Something is wrong. Boo you. You know what I mean? Like, what is going on with that? And that is a reason why a lot of y'all are single. Y'all are hypocrites. Long story short, you're hypocrites. Y'all condemn men for having some of the same gripes that y'all have. Y'all condemn men for having standards, but you can have them. And a lot of y'all standards are through the roof. Extremely unrealistic. A man just says, hey, I would like a woman that is not, you know, bossy and entitled and selfish and that takes care of her body and, you know, is 
cute to look at. And it's like, oh my God. And that is basic. <laughs> but y'all want men that make a million dollars a year that drives, you, you know, Bugattis and, you know, whatever. And it's like, uh, what's wrong with my standards? Like what, sis? Are you serious? But this is what y'all do. And that is why a lot of y'all are single. It's actual factual. You're hypocrites. But let's continue. The 10th reason why most of you women are single because you have masculine energy and you don't know how to submit and you try to be the man that you're looking for. The 11th reason why most of you women are still single because you'll leave a good man to look for some better just to end up with some worse. Then you'll try to spin the block and think we're supposed to welcome you back with open arms. It's not going to happen. Well, <sighs> didn't see not one lot tall. And then that last piece, I definitely agree with. I wrote a whole book about submission. Hit the link below to get your copy. Very quick, simple, easy read. It'll help you out a whole lot, ladies. But yeah, a lot of y'all don't know how to be submissive. You don't know how to play your womanly role. You want to boss up on a guy and, you know, call the shots and all of that. Like, no, men are not going for that. The type of men that y'all are looking for are not going for that. Absolutely not. If you want a man that is masculine, assertive, that's going to provide, protect, lead, and teach, he's not going to be with a bossy, combative woman that is constantly trying to compete with him. Not happening. Not happening whatsoever. And then the last part that he said. Oh, so spot on. And y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. But what did he say? Y'all leave perfectly good men to go outside into the streets to find something better than him only to come up short. And then what makes matters even worse is that y'all will then try to spin the block back to that great guy that y'all left and y'all expect for him to say, oh, all is well, all is forgiven. Girl, please. But this is what y'all do. And when those men do reject you, all of a sudden, he's so mean. He sold this. He sold that. Well, what were you, ma'am? What were you when you ditched him and left him in the cold to go and find something else that was bigger and better and more shinier than him? What, what were you then? Oh, well, that was different because I was young and dumb. Girl, please. A lot of y'all are overgrown doing these same silly tactics. And it's everybody else's fault but yours. No, not anymore, ladies. And this is why a lot of y'all are single. Anyway, y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, opinions, feedback about this down below. What things on the list did you agree with? What did you disagree with? Let me know, okay? What has been y'all's experience as far as some of the common traits as to why a lot of women are single. You know, are you running into a lot of women who are selfish? Are you running into a lot of women who are leaving behind the good guys to go after the bad boys? Y'all let me know, okay? But I'll see y'all in the next dope discussion. Much love and peace to my crown heads.